Towards the end of 2017, the government announced that it would be introducing the Consumer Data Right, or CDR. This was a major step towards consumers having greater access and control over their data. In short, a consumer can ask an organisation to provide them with a copy of the data that they hold about them, which they can then transfer to a competitive organisation. The aim of this is to improve consumers' ability to compare and switch between products and services and encourage competition between service providers, leading not only to better prices for customers, but also more innovative products and services. It was decided that CDR would first be applied to the banking sector, starting with the big four banks, then progressively rolled out to the rest of the banking sector. This commenced in early 2020 and is known in the sector as open banking. The CDR system allows consumers to decide which accredited persons can see and use their data, specify what types of data they wish to transfer, specify what they want their data to be used for, stop the transfer of data if they want to change their mind, and ask for data to be deleted once it's no longer needed. The type of data which can be transferred includes consumer data, such as contact details and any information which was provided in the process of applying for a product. Also, that person's business details if the product was purchased for business purposes. Account data such as the account type, name and number, the balance, interest rates and fees. Transaction data such as debits and credits, dates, amounts and descriptions of the transactions. Product data such as specific information about a particular product an individual has used. In due course, CDR will be introduced to the energy sector next, followed by the telecommunications sector. Where the CDR eventually extends to other sectors is being considered, but has not yet been decided.